Good afternoon, my relatives. I also like to thank the brothers, the singers, who are carrying on a special duty, a special responsibility, and that they could be here with us. Walking for our brother, Leonard Peltier, trying to bring about some justice. But it's not, it's not no coincidence that we're here today and we're carrying on in the footsteps of our ancestors. We're carrying on in the tradition, in the prayers, in the way that has been handed on to us from many of our elders. And many of them are gone today. Many of them that dedicated their lives and their time to bring justice to their Indian people. Here in the Northwest is a strong history of resistance from the fishing rights to Fort Lawton and also Leonard Peltier who has a history in the community and that's why we're here today is to talk about his history but also remember who he is and why he's there while I was standing here I was thinking of all the prisons that he has been in in the last 37 years he's been to Marion, Illinois he's been to Fort Leavenworth, Kansas Harrisburg Lompoc El Reno, Oklahoma and now he sits in one of the most maximum security prisons in the prison system in Coleman, California or excuse me, in Florida for a crime that he did not commit he's been found guilty of aiding and abetting and the death of two FBI agents. And it's never been proven that he actually killed the agents. But they needed somebody. Somebody had to pay. That's why we're here today, surrounded by the cops. And they know it's no coincidence either of why they're here. I hope that someday that our presence here and our voices and our song and our unity will come together here where we will see hundreds and thousands will be covered in this little square. That is what we want and that's what we can achieve. And that's what is going to get our brother Leonard Peltier out of prison. It's sad to say that President Obama made many promises to Indian people. And in my book, Obama is just another buffalo soldier. He's just another soldier carrying out the policies of the federal government. And if you've been reading the news the last few days, the Lakota people have refused to meet with Obama and his representatives who are trying to put a pipeline through their territory. So that struggle will continue. That is why I know that many of those movements our sister from the I Don't Know More, the Occupy movement, we all have common goals and I hope that sometime, someday we will see it for many of those that have carried on this struggle particularly those in this community that are no longer here with us and I can think of one 
God miss all so dearly. And it's good to see his daughter here speaking out for their family. For Chuck, Bob Hyde, Conway, and many others. And Leonard Peltier is a symbol of that resistance today. And that's why we're here today to walk. To walk in that prayer. To walk in the footsteps of our ancestors. When I was listening to those singers singing their songs, I even seen these police officers. I seen their toes tapping. I seen their hands drumming a little bit. So they're here. We're educating them. And that's important. Because we're going to need their help too. And so that's why it's important for us, even if it's just a handful, to continue to carry on this, this resistance, this struggle, the spirit, the spirit of resistance is still here in this land. And we still have the, the power, the natural power, to connect with it. And that's what we're doing. That's what we have been doing. Many of you that have been to these marches year after year, you know what we're talking about and how we feel. So it's good to see many colors, many different walks of life to come together here to show the support for our brother Leonard Peltier. Next week, Leonard's case will be brought before the United Nations again in New York. Even the United Nations who sent a special rapporteur to investigate the case of Leonard Peltier made a recommendation that in order for Leonard Peltier to be free, that this government must have some kind of reconciliation with Indian people and including clemency for Leonard Peltier. That came from one of the highest officials within the United Nations that's following the case of Leonard Peltier. And people will be meeting him again next week. The United States likes to talk about human rights and the respect of human rights. We know that ain't the case for many of our brothers and sisters throughout the world, such as our brothers in the Palestine, those in Gaza who are fighting blockades, and even here in North America, in this continent, where we've seen the Six Nations, the Iroquois, walk across the border and block the freeway for three hours. Ooh, that is the spirit and the power of our people. And that's what we're here today is to build that power and that respect. This is the foundation. My brother here has put his sacred pipe there, his Chinupa, for prayer. And that's what keeps us strong. That's what keeps our movement strong. Even though I'm a member of the American Indian Movement, I always look at myself as part of being the movement first. Because I do not consider myself an American. And I don't even consider myself an Indian. I'm the Choctaw from Oklahoma, one of the original peoples of this land. And so what started out here for Leonard Peltier and standing up for many of the people that are fighting for their fishing rights, and that still goes on today in some form, not just here in this country but throughout the world. 
The United Nations passed a resolution, a declaration, called the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Over 192 countries have signed it in the world, except for the United States government. I don't think they ever will sign it. I don't think they intend to sign it. And even if they did, it's only a moral obligation. What we need is something more significant, something stronger. We need a convention, a legally binding convention. And that's some of the work that's happening next week at the United Nations. As many of our people will be there to discuss. There's an international conference coming up next year in 2014. Already, governments, countries, and this government particularly, are trying to make it where our people are not going to be represented there at the UN. That is how hard, how hard we must continue to struggle. And today, I would say it's an honor for me to be here, to walk with you, to hear your songs, to listen to my elders, to see these young people, to see our warriors here, the drummers and singers. We all have something to give, and we can give more for Leonard Peltier, just our, our presence and carry on the struggle, the same struggle that he believed in, that brought him into this movement. And so today, again, I want to say thank you, and for all of you that contributed and helped out in many different ways, and I'm sure Leonard appreciates that, and most of all, this prayer that we're all part of here today. Thank you. All my relations.